digitalization, M2M connectivity, artificial intelligence, 3D printing, and virtual reality. Humanity stands on the verge of a new technological revolution, the fourth industrial, as it is customary to call it. It will radically change the way people live, work, and interact. In a special program, Digital Kazakhstan, we tell about what steps are being made in this direction in the Republic and what has already been achieved thanks to the adoption of new technologies. And in today's release, we will talk about smart cities. The term smart city was actively used in mass media in the mid-90s of the 20th century. It was just for this period of time in the U.S. when the rapid growth of information technology's popularity had occurred, coinciding with the awareness of environment protection importance against humans' adverse impact. Soon the question came up about what is more important for a smart city, technological or ecological components. Adherence of the first aspect popularized such topics as e-government and enabling environment creation for investment, which later became trend and their opponents laid emphasis on technology's connection with ecological innovations and sustainable development. Anyway, during the next decade, the smart city remained just one of the theoretical projects, the implementation of which did not seem to be an absolute necessity. However. The global crisis of 2008 made the society reconsider the further development of all spheres of human activity. With the filing of IT companies, the term smart city received a fresh impetus and went into use. Since then, the smart city's discourse has become actively gaining popularity, and today almost all major cities of the world are striving for this status. According to Innovation Cities rating compiled by Australian Global Innovation Agency, the top three in the list of smart cities in the world are London, New York and Tokyo. The fourth place was shared by California cities San Francisco and San Jose. Boston densely settled on the fifth place. On the sixth place is Los Angeles. The seventh line was fixed for Singapore. Toronto took the eighth place. The experts took the ninth place to the capital of France, the city of Paris. Vienna, the capital of Austria, rounds out the ten. In Kazakhstan, the authorities of Astana, Almaty and Shimkent have been actively involved in smart city technologies implementation for several years already. Moreover, the direction of activities and implemented projects in each of the megalopolis vary significantly, probably because the society has not yet formed a clear and explicit interpretation of this term. For response to the question about what is smart city after all, we are going to the 6th Innovation Forum in Almaty, where 15,000 delegates from 15 countries of the world had gathered. One of the dialogue platforms is fully devoted to the debate about smart cities concept. Technologies are also connected here as well as architecture and people themselves, sociological and some kind economic effects. Innovations are created not for nothing. There are some technological ecosystems that aid smart cities development. Upon hearing about a dozen reports and getting acquainted with three dozen exhibition stands, you come to the conclusion that almost all technologies and solutions radically changing our life can be attributed to smart cities concept. I am happy to see you at our conference. Drones, 3D printing, biotechnology and energy saving devices, digital economy, Internet of Things and robotics. All this and many other things with proper use will help the megalopolis to become more innovative and modern and thus deserve so popular today smart prefix. International consulting company PricewaterhouseCoopers proposed to consider the term smart city from the perspective of five functional areas, which include smart transport, smart home, smart energy, smart water and gas, and smart urban environment. Thus, smart cities include all elements of city life and create a technological platform that helps residents, entrepreneurs, and authorities actively interact with each other. 
And then, obviously, now we have a revolution in front of us related with the uh, technologies of information. But then the stronger challenge is how people live better in the, in the cities. We, every time that we upgrade the cities is because we want that the people live better. So we will use all the technologies and all the resources that we have around in order to promote a better quality of life. And this is the city of the future. Some aspects of smart cities have already become an integral part of the life of Kazakhstanis. Therefore, there was an all-around installation of media boards and transition program of the Almaty to smart format. The platforms are designed to give the driver and information about traffic speed, traffic jams, road accidents, free parking places, suggest route navigation, exchange rates, weather, and notify in case of emergency. 50 pilot structures were installed in 2016. Now their number and geography have significantly expanded expanded. It is planned that by the end of 2017, the number of media boards functioning in Almaty will reach 150 units. While in 2 million Almaty, they are trying to unload the city's arterial roads. The public is being taught public transport culture in a dynamically growing capital. Smart bus stops are designed to help the passenger choose the right route with an accuracy of a minute indicate the arrival time of the bus, share internet and even warm in the winter cold. Over time, the design is planned to be equipped with solar panels, which can significantly relieve the city's electricity. As of today, the capital has five of such bus stops, each of which can accumulate almost 800 watts of energy per day. Uh, cities and governments have less money, so they can't just build new roads, build new railways. They've got to think of ways that they can uh, achieve more things for more people, but not have lots more money. So technology can help. Uh, but equally, smart cities are important because it gives cities a vision. Uh, who would not want to be smart in the future? The capital transition to a smart format is carried out by a number of large IT contractors, including the company Astana Innovations. In 2011, it launched Smart Astana Internet Portal, any visitor of which can get a lot of useful information about public transport routes, cultural events, and smart services operating in the city. The site also has a virtual reception where you can leave an appeal to the capital's administration. The column, People's Control, that promotes the operative solution of socially significant problems of a city scale is in great demand. As of today, about 10,000 applications are registered there. Also, an active implementation of e-condominium project is underway. That is what you can do. Send an appeal to condominium, view statistics, financial statements. You can receive all notices and announcements about what is happening in your house. It will be possible to learn through the application if there is a hot water deactivation and you do not have to search for ads at the entrance door. It will be possible to open forums, chat rooms, to communicate with neighbors and discuss problem issues of the house. In addition to the portal itself, residents of Astana are offered to download a so-named mobile application through which you can make an appointment for a doctor, check out the queue for a kindergarten, pay for utilities, call a taxi, and even visit a virtual 3D tour of the capital's sites. The application is convenient because you can pick up any entertainment through it, see where the nearest exhibitions and movie sessions are, you can arrange an appointment to state institution and generally get useful information about the city. Almaty businessman Maxim Badyshev decided that smart means ecological and built the first innovative green office in Central Asia. Its uniqueness lies in the fact that during operation, the alternative energy sources are used, which makes it possible to expend natural resources economically. A rainwater recirculation system is installed in the office for its technical reuse. All rainwater, thawed water after winter, the melting snow and everything fell into this reservoir. 
20 solar panels produce most of the electricity needed for the normal functioning of the building. The windows of Eco Office are equipped with a multifunctional glass processed with a thin layer of silver. This technology ensures optimum indoor climate conditions at any time of the year. By the way, the elevator is also unusual in this building. The highlight of this elevator is primarily that it is equipped with touch controls, which is a novelty for Kazakhstan. Secondly, it consumes energy only when it rises. It falls downwards mechanically. Another smart solution for home and office, which will help to save financial and natural resources, was offered by Almaty engineers. They developed and put on stream the production of smart meter system, which includes the gadget itself with a pulse output, a radio modem, and a base station. These devices are accounting for the consumption of cold and hot water, gas and electricity in real-time mode, and transmit the data to the service provider. Now there is a concern about housing and communal services. Unreliable bills come to all of us occasionally. We compare them with our counters, become outraged, ask for a recount and do not want to pay. However, with the use of this technology and solution, we are moving away from this. Public utilities, in turn, receive a transparent picture of resource consumption. They can identify unscrupulous recipients of services, detect the emergency section of the highway in advance, and, as a matter of unnecessariness, terminate the profession of controller. The company's production capacity today reaches 10,000 units a month. Moreover, it is not just about modems and base stations that receive and process data. The company also manufactures security sensors, controllers, and surveillance scope over animals, transport, and cargo. What is unique about this technology is that one base station within a radius of up to 15 kilometers collects data from tens of thousands of sensors, meters, and various sensors in the city. We have a high penetrating ability of radio signals, cellars, wells, reinforced concrete structures are no longer an obstacle. Well, the most important thing is low energy consumption. Operating on batteries such a radio modem can function for about 10 years. Radio modem может работать порядка 10 лет. And it is connected these and other innovations reflect Almaty 2020 development strategy developed by the Akimat of the Megalopolis in cooperation with international experts. One of the priority directions in it is the creation of a comfortable city that is a place for people, not for cars. Italian urbanist Riccardo Marini, the head of the company Gell Architects, was involved to the implementation of this program. For several years, he has been following the implementation of recommendations, which in the course of a long research was proposed to the Akimat to Valmati by Ian Gale. This Danish architect and city design consultant is widely known for his projects on humanizing the public spaces of New York. London and Moscow. His recommendations to Almaty colleagues included the reconstruction of a number of squares and parks, central streets, and the creation of a so-called smart urban environment intended primarily for pedestrians. One of the examples of urban environment transformation in Almaty, in connection with the reconstruction of pedestrian zones in an individual section with a length of 800 meters, the number of parking spaces will be reduced by 40 percent. Release space will be given for bicycle roads and alleys integrated into park zone. There, throughout capacity will increase. The number of green space will increase by 300 units. We as pedestrians are squashed into the tiniest space because the cars need the space to go faster. This is not the way that makes us happy or healthy. So if this means that cars need to take the back seat, guess what, that's what we think is right. The whole point of this city doing this kind of experiment is to get people willingly to understand that maybe it is better for their health, it's better for the economy, it's better for the future of Almaty if they leave their car in their car park and they take the bus, or they walk, or they cycle to work, or to school, or to whatever. 
Thanks to these and many other innovations, Astana and Almaty have already been included in the list of the 35 smartest cities in the region, according to emerging markets. Inspired by the example of megacities, the smart city concept began to be developed and gradually was introduced in other cities of Kazakhstan. By this rate, by the year 2030, absolutely all cities of the Republic will be able to boast of a proud prefix, smart.